If Scott Joplin ever worked with Dr. Dre, you don't need a band, you don't need anyone else. Hours of enjoyment right here. Hey folks, I'm Scott Bradley, and I'm gonna teach you the most fun piano style. It's called Ragtime. Ragtime kind of allows you to be a whole band just in one instrument. So if you wanna learn ragtime or stride piano, you have to start by learning this stride left hand. That's the most crucial element. So you can think of this stride left hand as kind of approximating a marching band. All right, so you have these low notes. That could be like a tuba or an upright bass or something like that. And then you have these kind of, these chords, and that sounds almost like a snare drum or maybe like a banjo or a guitar or something like that. So you're gonna play both those parts at once and you're gonna be your own rhythm section. Okay, so that's the goal. So we're gonna take a just a C chord, a basic chord. So this is a triad, C triad, it's C, E, and G. And for the bass notes, we're gonna be thinking about doing the roots and the fifths. So the root is C, the fifth is G. And we're just gonna go back and forth. So I'm, I'm doing this in an octave, but you could choose to do this in just a single note if you want. And then we're gonna take the chord, we're gonna um, put in second inversion in this case, okay? So it's a fancy term for flipping the chord around. So there's a G on the bottom, there's a C right here, and an E on top. So we're gonna start by getting used to striding. All right, going between this low note, the C, and then the chord, the C chord up top. It's gonna take some time to get used to these jumps. So you can make them a little easier if you want. You can put it kind of in the same register so there's less distance to cover. But the goal is you wanna start feeling very comfortable and start building a little bit of a groove, you know? So you notice I, I changed chords a couple of times there. Whenever you change the chord, you're gonna change the pattern too. So if we're gonna switch the chord, maybe to like a G7 chord, which is G, B, D, and F. We're gonna do the exact same approach, okay? We're gonna go between the root and the fifth. So in this case, the root is G and the fifth is D. And then we're gonna play the chord up top. So it's gonna sound like this. So once again, if we put them together, we do the C chord. And then we switch to the G7 chord. And then we switch back. That's it right there. That's the basics of learning the stride left hand. And from there, there's so many possibilities you can do. If Scott Joplin ever worked with Dr. Dre, it would probably sound like that. If you wanna see these ideas notated, uh, the folks at Piano have a free seven day trial at the link below in the description. You can check out. So now if you start playing around with this left hand and you start adding just a right hand to it, any old right hand, you're gonna notice it's not, it doesn't really sound like ragtime, right? Like that sounds like, you know, it sounds almost like polka. Uh, what gives ragtime its unique flavor is that there's a bit of syncopation going on. And syncopation, just a very fancy word, means uh, playing between the beats. To give you an example, I'm gonna take a classic song, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and I'm gonna play it without any syncopation. It's gonna sound like this. So now I'm gonna take that same melody and I'm gonna put a little syncopation in it. See if you can spot it. So the melody is kind of sounding a little displaced right there, right? So the first part was the same. That note right there, you see I moved the right hand before the left hand. The syncopated example sounded a bit out of sync, but 
in kind of a cool way. So this is all you need to know about syncopation. It just means playing out a sync would make it cool. In the right hand, you're usually not just playing single note syncopations. You're usually playing these figures that are almost reminiscent of a banjo or a guitar. The way to get that sound, we're gonna take the same process. We're gonna go through a C major chord, okay? C, E, and G. But this time, we're gonna do kind of a bigger chord. We're gonna put an octave between the Gs. So it's G, C, E, G. And we're going to, we're gonna play it this way. You see how we're starting with the octave and then we're playing single notes in the middle. And we're gonna play this in a syncopated manner so that we get that out of sync feeling between the left hand and the right hand. It's gonna sound like this. So that's an approach kind of favored by the early ragtime composers like Scott Joplin uh, when they were creating melodies. They would uh, do a lot of things in octaves with single notes in between. And we can take that and we can actually apply that style to row, row, row your boat. It would sound like this. So there's a lot of uh, little tricks and embellishments that you can add to the right hand melody in ragtime and stride piano, but those are the fundamentals and it's very important that you master those first. So I'm gonna show you kind of a, a way that I would take this approach to the next level by taking a more complicated song, Remember Me from the movie Coco. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspired you to check out Ragtime and Stride Piano. It's the most fun piano style. Uh, you don't need a band, you don't need anyone else. Uh, hours of enjoyment right here. Once again, I'm Scott Bradley and best wishes to you.